Here is how, let's go check it out, how I got this seasoned. Oh yeah, so this is the 13 pound full brisket I got out of the freezer a few days ago and thawed it out. I found this for under $3 a pound at a homeland, so I bought two, cooked one, froze one. Uh, it seems to be thawed out now and I have trimmed it up some. I didn't bore you with all the details on that, but uh, it has been trimmed up some of the fat has been removed from it to about a fourth of an inch around in most spots some less some more uh, but I did take off a decent amount so it ain't got too much fat heavy and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little olive oil to this we're gonna season it up gonna be pretty simple I'm just gonna pour a little olive oil on here and rub it in I've used mustard before uh, as a sticking agent but we're using olive oil today I think it helps to also uh, get a little crisper with this olive oil and a little better bark on it hopefully so i'm just going to rub this all over this 13 and a half pounds is what it come in out come in at before i started removing the some of the fat go ahead and add some to this side just go ahead and nice liberal coat of olive oil get it all over every bit of it and I'm going to be using the pit barrel beef and game today uh, if you want to go simpler I've used just salt and pepper maybe some herbs really up to you but this here works quite well and then I'm just going to go ahead and start sprinkling this give it a nice coating all the way around Put this thing covered every bit of it if I can and there you go get this thing nice and seasoned very a good coat of the beef and game rub on here I'm gonna go ahead and put the hooks in it and then I'm gonna let this set kind of come up more to room temperature I just got it out of the fridge it's been out for about 20 or 30 minutes before I put this on uh, but let me get it up a little more uh, room temperature because um, I still got to get the charcoal ready in the pit barrel so I'll let this set while I do that. I have a video on that, uh, how I go ahead and light it. I won't bore you with that either. You can watch that video. So in putting the hooks in, I'm actually going to do a triple hook method. And what we're going to do is put the hook in the top here. Let's see. Yeah, like this. And put it through it. Now this is a very heavy piece of meat so I want to add another hook like this and I'm gonna add one more hook right down here I'm just gonna put it there we're gonna go further on down in here put that through what that's going to do is just allow less pressure on one hook, two hook, three hook. That way you shouldn't have to worry about it actually slipping off during the cook. Now we're going to cook this to about 170 and then we're going to wrap it. And I'll explain more on that in a minute. But I'm going to let this set for just a little bit. I'm going to get the pit barrel ready and then we'll be getting it put on. One final thing to note is right here at the point I went ahead and took a knife and cut against the grain so when it's done later today I'll have a good cutting point and I'll be going against the grain so I won't have to find that. So it's been five hours now and the temperature of the internal brisket is where I wanted it 170 degrees. Now you may wonder why 170 you usually hear 160 but I find in it, it just gets that little extra bark we're going to go ahead and take a look at this look at the bark on that what I'm going to do you can see the fire has burned a lot of this and you don't see a whole lot uh, videos to where people add some charcoal but I'm going to add about 10 or 15 briquettes after we wrap this because I've seen the ambient temperature has continued to decline and uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that by adding a little briquettes. This thing got to 140 degrees in three hours, then took two hours to get to 170 for the additional 30 degrees. I'm just gonna go take this in there and we're gonna go ahead and wrap it in butcher paper and add a little beef broth, bring it back out, put it on a grate until we get to about 205 and I'll add about 10 or 15 briquettes as well. Let me put the lid back on this. A little beef broth. I now have it on here uh, wrapped fairly tightly, probably not tight enough, but I've got several layers on that so it looks a little bigger than it is. And I have the probe still in there. I added some charcoal as you saw, and we're gonna go ahead and put the lid on. And we're not gonna open it now until it hits 205 degrees, so. And here it is, 10 hours and a resting period of eh, about 45 minutes. And you can see how it's looking. The uh, bark looks amazing. So we're gonna cut into this. You can see right here, this is what I was looking for, is, I don't know if you could tell real well, but this is where I did the pre-cut against the grain to start my cutting when it got done. So we're gonna cut right here a couple of pieces. Let me go ahead and try this now. It just breaks apart. Man, I got to tell you, this little guy fires out now. That makes one hell of a brisket. So it took about 10 hours to do the full cook. I did have to add a little more charcoal uh, to keep the fire up. And then I let it set for about 45 minutes. Probably should have let it set a little longer. But cut into it because I was hungry. Breaks apart. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, PBC, Pit Barrel Cooker does it. That brisket is great. My name is John Berry and we cook outside all the time on the Blackstone Griddle, Weber, and Pit Barrel Smoker. Be sure and subscribe if you like this kind of stuff and outdoor cooking. I'll see you guys soon in another video. I'm going to go have me some more brisket.